everybody. I'm Abby Strong, Senior Product Marketing Manager at Arrowhive Networks. I'm going to talk to you today about one of Arrowhive's most unique and cool features called Private Pre-Shared Key. So the most common way for connecting devices to an SSID is using a pre-shared key. And this is the method where every device that you're connecting to the network is given the same key and they all connect to the SSID using that same key. So while pre-shared key is the easiest method to connect users to the network, there are a few problems with this type of uh, configuration. The first one being when everybody uses the same key to connect to the, the access point, they can actually, if they turn on a sniffer, could see each other's traffic. It also means that if something would happen, maybe one of these users um, leaves the company or was a guest and, and is gone for the day, if you want to disconnect just that user, you would actually have to change the key for every client that's connected to that SSID. Every device that uses this same key looks the same to the access point. So that means when you're trying to assign permissions, things like VLAN, uh, tunneling, QoS, firewall policies, all of that would be the same across all of your users because they are all using the same key and the access point will treat them the same. So another common method for connecting clients to an SSID is using 802.1x or WPA2 Enterprise. And this is where you use some sort of user credentials, whether they're username and password or a certificate, to authenticate to the network and negotiate individual keys between the, the client and the access point. Now this is clearly the most secure way to connect your devices to the network because each user negotiates that individual key and therefore we can distinguish them from their fellow users. So we can assign different policies to them, we can um, de-auth a single client again if, if one user happens to leave the company or, or leave for the day after, after visiting, you can just de-auth this single client and the other users continue to work as normal. Now, the problem with this is that in order to use 802.1x, you have to have certificates. Whether that certificate resides just on the server side or whether you're actually using certificates on each device, certificates are difficult. They're difficult to manage, they're difficult to distribute, and they're difficult to get on the devices. So this is something that a lot of companies struggle to implement in, even though it is the most secure solution. This is where Arrowhive Private Pre-Shared Key comes. What we've done is take the benefit that you get from using 802.1x, but made it as easy to use as a pre-shared key network. With this feature, each user has a unique key that they can use to connect to the network that for them looks all the world like any other pre-shared key that they would use to connect to any other SSID. But to the IT administrator, they have so much more control over this connection now. They can tie that key to a user identity, to the first MAC address that uses, to, uses that key. They can assign the number of devices that can connect with that same key. And then they can assign different policies based on the key that that user has used to connect to the network, such as VLAN, firewall policy, QoS policy, tunneling policy, and even more importantly, each user has this unique encryption key, so none of them can see each other's traffic when they're connected to the network. And if for any reason someone would leave the network, for um, leave the company, or maybe just visiting for the day, you can de-auth a single key, and the rest of the users will continue to connect to the network and be completely unaffected. And that is the beauty of the Arrowhive Private Pre-Shared Key feature, which allows user, or administrators to have all the benefits of an 802.1x implementation, but the simplicity of a pre-shared key implementation. I'm Abby Strong, and that's Arrowhive's Private Pre-Shared Key.